Hello, my name is Stephen Ganey and I come to you today, September 15, from Eastern Randolph High School with several updates regarding the Randolph County School System. The first thing I'd like to talk about today is the 2021-2022 school year. Today, September 15, is day number 17 of the school year. I'm very proud to say that as, as we've gone to the first 17 days of school, we've had students on campus for every day of the school year. We also have had our extracurricular activities return to normal procedures. The second week of school, we did go back to having the universal use of cloth face coverings by everyone on school campuses as a safety precaution. And we did have to start with, with the second week, move breakfast and lunch back to individual classrooms. But even with these different these changes that we've put in place, as well as some of the other things that we had in place in terms of restrictions, please know that we will continue to watch our COVID-19 numbers throughout the school year. And as those numbers improve, we will look for opportunities to reduce these restrictions and try to move back to where we were on March 13, 2020, in terms of the regular school day and the activities associated with our schools. This time I want to share some information about high school graduation. I know it's several months away, but we did post some information on our webpage so parents could have this as they make plans during the year for, for children in their homes who are seniors at one of our high schools. So the graduations, the upcoming graduation ceremonies for the spring are as follows. Randolph Early College High School will be on May 20 at 10 a.m. at Journey Church. And then the rest of our high schools will have graduation ceremonies on June 8. And these times will be Eastern Randolph High School at 6 p.m., Trinity High School at 6 p.m., Randleman High School at 7 p.m., Southwestern Randolph High School at 7 p.m., URA Ridge 612 will be at 7 p.m., Providence Grove High School will be at 8 p.m., and Wheatmore High School will be at 8 p.m. All of the June 8 graduations will be on the school campuses, with the exception of URA Ridge 612. That graduation also, like the early college, will be held at Journey Church. So I wanted to make you aware of this information so you can make plans throughout the year if you have a child who is a senior at one of our high schools. The next information I'd like to share pertains to the Randolph County School System Teacher of the Year. Last week, Katie Husband, a kindergarten teacher at Franklinville Elementary School, was named the 2021-2022 Teacher of the Year for the Randolph County School System. I just want to share how proud I am of Katie. She is a fantastic teacher. She's in her third year at Franklinville Elementary School. I actually met Katie several years ago when I first came here. She was teaching at Level Cross at that time. We're very excited for Katie. She is a fantastic teacher and a fantastic person. And I look forward to watching her progress as she goes through the State Teacher of the Year process in the coming weeks and months, because I truly believe she is one of the true stars in public education in the state of North Carolina. So congratulations, Katie. At this time, I want to share some information for parents. Uh, currently, we have a technology survey posted on our school system's webpage, and the deadline for the completion of this survey is September 17. And parents, if you've not completed this survey, I ask that you do so because we're going to use the information from this survey to determine the devices and internet service students have at home so we can make preparations in case a student is quarantined from school or maybe a whole school is put on remote instruction we'll have a better way of planning so we can provide uh, resources such as Chromebooks and our hotspots to students who need them due to uh, a need for internet service at home or a device at home. So parents, again, the survey deadline is September 17. And I, I just request that if you've not completed the survey, go to our school systems webpage and complete this survey no later than September 17. At this time, I want to share an administrative change that has occurred at one of our schools in the past few weeks. More specifically, Ashley Bullington has been named as the assistant principal at URA Ridge 612. Prior to this appointment, she was the lead teacher at URA Ridge 612. So we're very excited for Ashley to have this opportunity at URA Ridge 612, and we're very proud of her and look forward to seeing her do great work on the campus at URA Ridge 612 and in her new administrator role. The final piece of information I'd like to share today pertains to an award recently given to a teacher at Southeastern Randolph Middle School by the name of Allison McNamara. Allison McNamara recently was given the Linda Petty Honored Educator Scholar Award for the 2021-2022 school year by the North Carolina Center for the Advancement of Teaching. With this award, Allison will be able to attend a program, all expense paid, at the North Carolina Center for the Advancement of Teaching. I also want to note that this 
award is in honor of Linda Petty, a former board member for our school system, who did a great job in helping lead this school system many years ago. So congratulations to Allison for her receipt of this great award. In closing, I want to thank everyone for your support of our school system during the 2021-2022 school year. I hope everyone has a great night. Thank you.